Hi, this is Luann. Today's theme is transitions. Being able to transition independently from one activity to the next is an important school readiness skill. That said, transitions are hard. Think about the frustration you have sometimes when you are pulled away from something that you are working on. Children have that same frustration too when they are pulled away from something they are engrossed in, like a Lego creation that they are just not quite finished with, or they want to put that puzzle together just one more time. Some children can handle transitions just fine. Others have meltdowns and increased anxiety. Preschoolers are still learning to control their emotions and manage their behaviors. With our help, they can learn to navigate transitions successfully. Transition activities and strategies promote self-regulation by helping children know what to expect. They promote an understanding of a sense of time and help with the development of social-emotional skills. You can implement these activities during separation upon arrival at school, moving from one location to another, or waiting for an activity to start, or just waiting for a turn. Things to keep in mind. Give a preview. Talk to your children about what is going to happen that day. Today is going to be very busy. You have school. After school, we have to go to the grocery store. Then it's home to eat supper and bedtime. Establish routines. Routines are comforting because children will know what to expect. In the evenings, brush our teeth, read a book, and then we go to sleep. Give advance warning. Give your child a verbal and or a visual warning for an upcoming transition. You can say, we are leaving in 10 minutes. Maybe have a timer that is visible. Turning off the lights could give them a five minute warning. Or you can tell them, you have two more times down the slide and then we have to go. Some children need more assistance than others. Validate their feelings. I know you are sad about leaving the library but we really have to go pick up your big brother from school. Offer choices when possible. Do you want to pick up the cars or the blocks? Praise their success with specific feedback, like, I like how you helped your sister put all of those stuffed animals away. Here's a few as transition activities that you can use. If you're waiting in line at the grocery store or anywhere you are waiting, you can sing a song like The Wheels on the Bus or the ABC song. One I like to use when I was teaching was, especially when we were working on the alphabet or numbers, is what letter comes after D? Or what comes after the number five? I spy is another good one. I spy with my little eye something that is yellow. I spy with my little eye that is in the shape of a rectangle. When it's time to clean up, you could use the tried and true clean up song. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. When I was teaching, I recorded the Beatles songs Help and We Can Work It Out. When my students heard that those songs come on, they knew it was time to clean up. With all of this, be flexible if you can. Build in some extra time to your schedule. The best to you and your children during these transition times. Thanks for joining me today.